Hi, this is David Pampkin of Core Solutions of Skype for Business, Designing and Implementing, Monitoring and Archiving. In our last video, we're enabling monitoring reports. Now we're going to be implementing archiving. So we're going to enabling SFB archiving in Microsoft Exchange. So I'm going to configure part of our applications in FSB Server and Exchange, generate IM traffic, view the archive message in Exchange, and troubleshoot failed archive. So on London SFB1, I'm going to bring them back to direct users and computers. And this one right here. Then I'm going to go down to Users, Administrator, Property. And I'm going to add him to RTC, User Server Admins. Great. Okay. Now I have to do is I have to sign out and sign back in to get the new token. So I've logged into London EXE1, and I'm going to get the mailbox database on it. Now if the value is true, okay, it's false, it's not true. It's enabled for provisioning. Now it's false, that's good. It's excluded from provisioning and all that good. So that's great. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to change directory into scripts. And I'm going to do a configure enterprise partner application. Oops. So configure uh, part of applications, and I'm doing is this is I have to do is I have to add some more data. So I'm configuring the partner application. Type his link on here. Great. So the configuration. Has succeeded, and I got to reset the IIS from the one right here. Now I'm going to locate the value for the auto discover service internal URI. What I'm going to do is record this. I'm going to go on to SFB1, this one right here. Let's go back to our 
So this management shell here. So now I'm going to press the value over here. All I need to do is this. Let's try that again. Good. Now the next one. Now I'm going to do is test connectivity. Great. Okay, I set this one here, enable all copy is true. Now I'm going to go back to the control panel from here. Logging in as administrator and password. Great. I'm going to click on monitoring and archiving. No. This is the policy here. User policy. I call this London archiving policy. London archiving policy, archive internal communication, external commit. Now I'm going to do is lessons, users. Add on admin. Take a look down the archiving policy on right here. The London archiving policy right here. We commit. So now I'm here. Get the user and the pull a datum and set it. The exchange archiving pod to our archive till exchange. And then I'm going to do is next. Type this in. And we can see as Amir Zaki and Ed Meadows. This one right here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is generate some IM traffic. And go to CO1. Send it in some message to this. Close the chat window right there. So I'm going to view the archive messages in exchange.
This one right here. That could direct to use computers. Shop exchange. Let me look for the Exchange start in that explorer. Actually, but there's another way to do this. Go in here. Now I want to locate the value of management here. In place, discover and hold. SFB items. Next. Search your more mailboxes. Next. Filter based on criteria. Select message types. Link items. Okay. Three next. Finish. Great. Okay. Close. SFB items. Use this one right here. Refresh. Estimate in progress. So now notice the estimate succeeded. That's great. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to troubleshoot failed archiving. I'm going to preview the search results next. Let's take a look at it and see what we got in there. As you can see, can see all the messages from here, etc. Next thing I'm going to do is troubleshoot failed archiving. Click the archiving configuration setting. Now you'll notice that there's these new settings that are here now. New pool configuration. Registrar. Pool out of data. Okay, you can see that the name is populated with this. Commit. Great.
Now we have this new one right here. Please note the pool configuration settings override global and site configuration settings. Pool configurations override the global and site configuration settings. That concludes um, this module on implementing archiving. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.